We've seen the consequences of the Obama-Clinton foreign policy. Leading from behind is a disaster. Unlike Hillary Clinton, who has a radical position in terms of support for Planned Parenthood, I defunded Planned Parenthood more than four years ago. This president and Hillary Clinton, who can't even say she's for the XL pipeline even after she's left, give me a break. If Hillary is the candidate, which I doubt, that would be a dream come true. But. Uh... Well, we saw candidates go after one another on stage, but they also took a few jabs at their potential Democratic rival, Hillary Clinton. With her reaction to the first Republican presidential debate, Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz. She's the chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee as well. Great to see you. Thank you. You too, being. Megan, and you did a great job tonight. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. What, do you, what did you think? Well, I, I, I'll tell you, after watching this debate tonight, um, I, I'm confident, uh, more confident than ever, that the Democratic nominee uh, will eventually become president of the United States. And I sort of feel for my counterpart, Reince Priebus, because it's pretty clear why they did everything they could to shrink the number of debates and shrink the exposure. Be uh, that specific. Like, what was it that jumped out at you? Well, the misogyny, I mean, to, to start with. I mean, after your question uh, initially to Donald Trump and the obvious misogyny that he engaged in in his response, not a single one of the other Republican candidates uh, criticized him, you know, commented, you know, talked about the importance of making sure that women actually have access to health care or uh, equal pay for equal work. Um, you know, the, the after the 2012 election, yep. the chairman of the RNC said, you know, we need to appeal to you know, a broader base of constituency groups. And tonight on that stage, not a single one of them did that. In fact, they alienated Hispanics, women. Uh, I mean, it's it's just unbelievable that the Republicans tonight refused to focus on the thing that's the most important to Americans, reaching the middle class and focusing on creating jobs and getting that. this economy. We talk about that a bit. Wait, well, you, was there anybody Not in there, terms of how people would reach the middle class. Was there anybody up there who surprised you, you know, in terms of, like John Kasich, for example, was obviously very popular with the crowd. They loved him, hometown favorite. And I've heard that he is considered a threat more so than some of the others by the Democrats. Is that true? You know, frankly, if you listen to any of them, you can pretty much see how interchangeable they all are. There's not a whole... Rand Paul? Well, I mean, with, with a couple of exceptions with Rand Paul, but I mean, how is Rand Paul going to appeal to swing voters when uh, on the 50th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act, I mean, Rand Paul is an example of someone who actually opposed or had problems with the Voting Rights Act, had problems with the Civil Rights Act. 50th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act, not a single one of them acknowledged it or talked about the importance of expanding access to voting. Instead, they have all supported constricting people's access to we the didn't polls. Give a lot of time in their defense. <laughs> we, we made him rap, uh, oh, but we didn't have to do the buzzer on him too often. I'll tell you, I would have made it a priority on the 50th anniversary well, of the Voting the Rights Act is that they, they can sort of seize the time. Acknowledge it. So you can turn the subject matter any way you want. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Pleasure. Megan. To be continued after Look the Democratic to debates. <laughs> Thank you for watching our late edition of The Kelly File live from Cleveland. A late, late edition of Hannity is going to start now.